Hey, my name's Arjuna Dibley. I am a director at Pollination, which is a climate change advisory and investment firm and a researcher at the University of Oxford and specifically at the Oxford Sustainable Law Programme. The adaptation gap is really uh, the gap between what needs to be done to ensure that countries and communities are adequately prepared for a changing climate and what's actually happening on the ground, what's being financed, what's being planned for and what's being implemented. Unfortunately, even if we as a global community reverse our emissions of greenhouse gases, some climate change is already baked in and some of these consequences are already going to affect us. Adaptation then is important because it enables countries and communities to continue to survive and manage um, as we experience these changes to the climate. Well, adaptation is a broad concept um, and it covers a number of different approaches. So there's no one size fits all. Often when we think about climate change adaptation, our mind goes to communities that are responding to sea level rise, for instance, um, you know, by building flood defenses or sea walls and that type of thing. And that's indeed a, a good example of, of climate adaptation, but there are many others that are carried out. One of the key measures that you know, has been highlighted by UNEP's Adaptation Gap Report in previous years is the use of nature-based solutions, such as protecting mangroves, uh, protecting already standing forests or reforesting areas. They're useful from an adaptation point of view uh, because they can help protect uh, local communities in, in areas that may be highly exposed to climate change, but uh, they're also beneficial because many nature-based solutions also offer some mitigation benefits um, and can sequester carbon. The evidence uh, suggests that it has had an impact, unfortunately, on climate adaptation. It's made it more difficult for countries and communities to, to adapt. You know, country resources have had to be uh, diverted um, in some instances to responding to the health emergency. And as a consequence, um, you know, COVID-19 uh, may uh, impose an economic drag on future government spending on adaptation. And this is particularly an issue uh, in developing countries. Having said that, the pandemic also offers opportunities and some lessons. So one area where there's a real opportunity is um, that, you know, in response to the pandemic, um, trillions of dollars of fiscal stimulus have been announced by countries. So one concrete thing that countries could do is um, to redirect some of that fiscal spending towards um, activities which will help uh, adaptation. COVID-19 has many parallels to climate change in that it manifested globally and, and very rapidly engulfed uh, the world in the same way that, you know, ongoing increases in temperature will have uh, global impact. The pandemic serves as a um, as a wake up call, uh, really, for governments and uh, for businesses and for communities to really uh, take disaster preparedness very seriously. 